guys, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? It's our sub only night, guys, so I'm already in sub only mode, but. Sounds like Larry the Cape Guy. I don't know who that is, but... Oh, you mean like the Cable Guy? Larry the Cable Guy. He does kind of, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Angie. How are you? Thank you, thank you. Alistairs, thank you for the rose. I am doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. Guys, don't forget to tap your screens and share the live and you don't have to uh, share it with anyone just copying the link counts as a share so we can hit the share goal really quickly and get to the big mochis at the end okay i see some blue arrows going up we got 20 shares 21 24 share buttons working. I'm shocked. Hi, NSH. Thank you for sharing the live. Leanna, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer and Mel. Thank you, everyone that's sharing the live and tapping your screens. Thank you guys so much. much for the heart me. You just got the number three gifter badge. Thank you, Sherry. Sapphire's metal. Thank you for the heart me. Timory, thank you for the heart me. Sonia, thank you for that heart me. Sonia, thank you so much for the little crown. Thank you for contributing to my live goal. Thank you. Colt, still the title gifter of roses. Thank you, Colt. For all the roses. Congrats on still being the title gifter of roses. Thank you so much. Timory, thank you so much for the heart mees. You reached member level 31. Thank you for contributing to the live goal. Angie, thank you for the heart me. You're member 2003 on the team. Two thousand three. It was a good year, so I was thinking. That's a good year to have gotten. Good number. Ashley, thank you for the heart, me. You are member 2004 on the team. for joining the team. Thank you 
so much for the heart me. Diamond Dolphin, thank you for the heart me. I'm gonna do a finger popper, and I did bring some of the small, tiny mochis back for those of you that said you like the little bitty ones. Not a lot, but we we put a couple out. Thank you, Megan, for the heart me. Diamond, thank you so much for all the roses. Thank you, thank you. Kinley, you subscribed for the first time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kinley, for joining the family. Welcome to the family. red ones inside this red thing. copied the link that counts as a share too you don't have to send it to anyone just copying the link counts as a share so thank you guys that are doing that Thank you guys so much for sharing. 
4.6k on the tap goal. Hi, Isadora, how are you? Lobot, thank you so much for the little crowns and contributing to that live goal. Thank you, Lobot. Thank you for all the little crowns. Awesome. like you have to take a puppy out at night when you're training a dog and I have to kennel train her but she just don't like to be by herself she cries I think everybody's doing pretty good I haven't got words sub only I, well, a lot of people can't answer me so I don't know <laughs> Angie thank you so much for the lightning Yeah, when they're tiny and so cute and they cry. I just don't want to put her in the kennel. She don't... She's scared to death. She wants to be, like... She wants to sleep right under my neck or, like, right by my side. And they're so sweet like that. They're only small for so long. Alright, thank you, A21. Appreciate the update. Tim says I woke him up all night taking the dog out to use the bathroom, but I know I'm going to take advantage of it. He's just going to have to get over it. Does I have to go like right by the door that like he can hear, but yeah, it is hard to uphold training when they're so cute. in time. How are you doing? On the links? Uh, no, I just keep getting yelled at every time I take the dog outside that I'm not watching for the links, but I am. He wants me to put the dog in the flower bed because it's all like bricked up and he doesn't want me to let it in the yard right now. But other than that, I haven't seen it. I don't think he's seen I would have heard about it if he's seen it again today, but. Better to, I guess, to be safe than sorry, because it would kill me if I seen, like, a lynx snap my puppy up. much for the tiny crown. Thank you for the little crown. For both the little crowns, thank you for contributing to my live goal. Thank you, Cindy. Appreciate you as always. I'm going to try to save some of these bears for farther on out into the live because I guess I was popping them like too soon, so... Darlene, thank you so much for the heart me. Hi, Kinley. I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. I'm really behind on a lot of stuff that I need to get done. I have so much stuff I gotta do tomorrow and videos that I need to post and get made. And I have a special one I'm gonna try to get out tomorrow that I hope you guys see. But yeah, busy. Yeah, everyone, you don't have to share this to somebody, just copy the link and we can get the shares knocked out really quickly. If everyone just copies the link, we have enough people to easily get the 500 shares. Just copy that link one time. Counts as a share. There's plenty of enough people to hit that in the tap goal pretty quickly. Just 
spending time with this cute puppy with the wrinkly face. It's really a flip uplift of my spirits, I know that. I don't know. Puppies do that. I guess I'm producing some extra endorphins because it's just made me feel better having a little pup. Thank you guys that are sharing the live. We're at 469, 478, 480. We're almost there. We'll be there in just a second, guys. Five hundred. And now we just need to do the tap goal. We're at 43.3k on the tap goal. Tiny, thank you for the roses. Thank you, Tiny and Felix. Thank you so much for the heart me. Cindy, thank you for the little crown. And Felix, thank you for the little crown. Sorry, I missed a couple there. Sorry about that, guys. But thank you so much for contributing to my live goal. Felix and Cindy. for the follows as well. Thank you. Ava, Ben, Emo. Jalea, Alexis, thank you for sharing the live. And Zaya, thank you for the follow. Thank you guys that are following and sharing and tapping your screens. Keep tapping, guys. The tapping slowed down a little bit. for the rose. Meg, thank you for the heart me. You reached number level 14. Mathar, thank you for the roses. I know I didn't say your name right, probably, but thank you anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> Meg, thank you so much for all the little crowns. Thank you for contributing to the live goal. Oh, that's a little stingray. Tiny, thank you for the heart puff and the lightning bolts. Thank you. squishies in a while. <clears throat> I give them to him and then he like hides them and he'll just pull them out at random times but I told him someone last night said they like these little ones we need to use more of them so I'm doing pretty well thank you for asking thank you tiny for all the roses and Cindy thank you so much you just got the number one gifter badge 
Thank you so much for that um, little crown. Appreciate that. Alright, I'm gonna do some finger pops to get some of these out of the way. Thank you, the rose. Cindy, thank you so much for the little crown. Thank you for contributing to the live goal. We are halfway through the live. Subscribe if you need to update your subscription or anything. Add time to the timer. And the sub price is down right now. I selected that plan for you guys because it's the cheapest. That was L for my name. Oh. <laughs> I should have looked at it before I popped it. He makes strange designs on these sometimes. Thank you, Gabby, for the heart me. guys so much. Tiny, thank you for all those roses. Thank you. And Cindy, thank you for the last little crown. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, I said I was going to finger pop something else. for all the roses. Wow, sorry I couldn't see that. My screen was blocked. Thank you, Colt. You're the title gifter of roses. Tiny, thank you for the lightning. And the heart puff. Slowbot, thank you for the uh, paper crane. Thank you so much for contributing to the live goal. And thank you for the rose, Tiny. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I know. Cole is crushing it with the roses. He's been doing that this whole week. And Saturday. Cole, thank you for the lightning. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the finger heart. Thank you, Colt, for all the lightning and the roses. face real good with that black. You normally can't in the clear colors. Um, no, I'm not, haven't gotten any storms. It was really nice here today. But, um, like a couple days before that, we did have a little bit of a storm, but not nothing like bad. Now, we could be getting bad weather that I don't know about. so many times. <laughs> you know how it is when you're training a puppy and even when you take them outside and you've just taken them to pee, they'll come back inside and like want to pee in the house again. I guess it's marking their territory a little bit too. Tap Laura, 
too. We're really close. 18k away. Storming in Kansas. Oh. I like storms. I think they're relaxing. As long as it's not like a dangerous one, you know, where you need to evacuate. But I love to listen to like a good rain. I just find it so relaxing. A good thunderstorm even, you know. Oh, Morphe's. Get a bunch of morphing pimples on blushy. Distant thunder, yeah. It is the best sleeping time to just like get under your favorite like blanket with a book or good movie or just nap and just listen to that sound. Even just laying there, it's so nice. I know, got a little morph out of that one. I watched, was watching that crazy special. Do you guys remember, okay, I know we got a lot of Grey's Anatomy fans in here. I don't know if I already told you guys this about the thing I watched on YouTube about Mount Everest. But, um, back when George was on the show and they had a man that was in there and they were putting the leeches on his nose because his nose had been, like, frostbitten. That's the real guy that was up there on Mount Everest and he tells his story, like, on, I don't know if it was the History or Discovery Channel, whatever, but with all the other people that were up there on Mount Everest. But he actually acted in Grey's Anatomy, too. Because when I seen that guy telling his story, I was like, I know that guy. I know he was on Grey's Anatomy. And I, I ended up Googling it. I was so sure of it. And, yep, that was him. Remember, he wanted to keep the little, um, the leech afterward. George was going to take it from him, and he was, like, wanting to keep it, and he did. They ended up letting him keep it and take it home with him. It was really sad, the story, because he actually got left behind twice. They overlooked this guy when they were taking people off the mountain. He got left behind twice and just happened to end up saving himself. It's quite a story. If you guys ever have time, check it out. It is insane, you know, and he lost, like, part of his one with his arm and, like, on his other hand, all of his fingers. The first time they, he was like laying in the snow, like his face was literally frozen to the snow. And they were coming back and getting the ones that had collapsed and bringing them to tents and giving them like hot tea to try and help them because nobody could get to where they were because of the storm. And they left him out there all night long. They thought he was dead and he was alive. So the poor guy got left outside exposed all night long. And then the next morning, when he stood up and walked over to the tents, they couldn't believe he was alive, so they put him in a tent. 100K, thank you, Felix. And they covered his head with a sleeping bag, which is what they do on Everest if someone, like, freezes to death up there. Hi, Lily. And, um, then when it was time to leave, um, everyone left him behind in the sleeping bag, so he was left up there alone again. And I felt so sorry for this guy, so I'm glad he at least got to play in Grey's Anatomy for all that horrible suffering he went through. And I believe I'd be suing the Sherpas that didn't make sure that I came back down the mountain, you know? How are you doing, Lily? Lily? For real? 
yeah, one star review, which I guess anyone going to climb Mount Everest has to know that, that something like that could happen. They said it was like a beautiful day and then they made it to the summit and within five minutes they couldn't see the camp at the bottom. It was so such a bad storm rolled in. Congratulations on League 3. What's that mean? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. For asking. Am I missing something on League 3? checked any of my notifications today on TikTok. <laughs> I have I was up all night with the dog and then I had to get up and like work and then get that out of the way and then like just oh it's been just a heck of a day. Every time I've tried to lay down and like get like a 30 minute nap or something within 10 minutes I'm woken up. You know, like when you try to sleep, but somebody keeps coming in to ask you a question or like just wake you up. <laughs> it's been like that all evening. I'll have to check it out. Well, thank you guys for telling me. Thank you for the cheer you up, Felix. Thank you so much. Well, I hope that's a good thing. clue what it means so don't feel bad guys <laughs> I didn't even know she, what, what she meant I was like what does that mean sometimes you don't even know and because there's so many live stream pros like I have more followers than a lot of some of these live stream pros but I don't live stream as long as they do I can't sit on live stream for hours and hours because we eventually run out of pimples and unless I do something different like transition into like diamond painting or the fidget hair plucking soap peeling or the diamond painting you know I mean I have to eventually end my lives thank you Loba for the heart me and plus most of you guys are already ready for bed too by the time my life's ending. Maybe I've just not hit the live stream pro yet. <laughs> I think you have to stream literally like at least 12 hours a day to even be considered live stream pro. <laughs> and I just don't have the time. I wish I did. Yeah, they are on all day long and all night sometimes I see these same people like never leaving TikTok and people used to say that to me when we would do two lives a day but I would only be on for like an hour and a half at a time but they'd be like you're always on I'm like I'm really not but they don't ever say that to me now <laughs> I don't know if we could even go back to doing two a day that would be so hard now but we do want to get a day live worked in like at least twice a week. I won't promise it's going to be twice a week, but we will have it once a week. Thank you for the heart, me Loba. And what was really sad to me is Frankie off Wentworth is on TikTok and Jessica Beale is on TikTok and they hardly have any followers. Like, Frankie, you know, she's, like, an excellent actress, and she's been in a bunch of, um, what is her name? Is it Nicole Da Silva or something like that? Anyway, you guys should follow her on TikTok, because I think she only had, last time I looked, it was, like, 
want to say 20k or 40k in followers. She deserves a lot more. Amy, thank you for the lightning bolts. Yeah, they were two hours at a time. That's what Tim was saying. He's, he used to say, yeah, but we used to only do 15 mochis at a time. I said, are you crazy? I said, I looked at the playback times on our old lives, and we were on here sometimes three hours, three and a half hours, twice a day. So we did stream a lot. I think that's why we grew so fast, and then kind of, we are just kind of like stuck at this number now which we did grow a lot last night. We got like 900 followers. But... You never know. A lot of you have been there though, through it all through those day lives and night lives when we did the live at two o'clock and then the one at 11.30. at two and wouldn't be done till five. Yeah, I remember that, Timmy. Gosh, you're right. We did do like two and three hour lives. I don't know what Tim's remembering. He must have a different memory than us. Yeah, I'm glad too. I think they've, since they've asked so many of us to call our local, you know, government and to ask them to vote no, I'd say everyone, probably that depends on TikTok, done that. I did it. Because it was in my notifications to asking me to do it. Tim didn't go live. Oh, yeah, you're right, he didn't go live. That's right, so he don't remember. He just made the pimples. And then later, he started going live. You just did that today? Yeah. They've got it down pat where you just put that zip code in and they have your local representative pops right up. But I was kind of thinking they probably know who calls and who doesn't and I didn't want to get like some type of weird banana for not calling. So I did it anyway, just to make sure. All right, I forgot about him not going live back then. Back then, feels like such a long time ago, even though it's only been like a year and a half. Sometimes it feels a lot longer. I guess it's probably a good idea if you can call your local representatives and tell them, you know, they should vote no on TikTok to do so, so they know how much everyone likes it. I'm sure there's some people out there that want to stick with just Insta that probably will say they don't like TikTok, but I love TikTok. That is where all my followers are, obviously, though. sure what brought the ban on um they don't like that it's not owned by america and like they don't have the control over i guess what kind of information they can get from our phones and stuff and, and they want some type of control over that so they want them to sell it to the americans So I can understand asking maybe <clears throat> to like have an American like partner, but or to make sure like their software isn't I don't know. I don't know really what to make of it. Yeah. 
But at the same time, it's like, do we have the right to make them sell TikTok, you know, when they came up with it? Like, if anything, they would have the right to just say, Americans can't get on TikTok, you know, we're going to keep it with us. But I think we make them more money, maybe. So. <clears throat> but yeah, that is the gist of it. That they think they can spy on us and... Exactly. They are already tracking everything we do through our phones, our apps, or, you know, just us talking. If you ever notice, you'll talk about a subject and that same type of ad will pop up on your phone of something you've been talking about. It's, I mean, it's everywhere. So I don't know why, yeah, I don't know why they worry about that either because it's already going on everywhere. I don't care about the political part of it. It's helped me too. I just... I would hate for it to go away. I really would. Because it would take a long time to get everybody, like, herded over to YouTube or Insta to do these lives. Which I would probably go straight to YouTube. I know, me too, Kelsey. <laughs> me too. I hope they stay too. Yeah, if you guys haven't called, maybe give your local reps a call and tell them to vote no on the ban on TikTok. or if it's yeah exactly expensive things groceries just general things you need to like live like your deodorant your toothpaste razors you know like just general stuff trash bags toilet paper I mean you walk out of Walmart you know you're like geez laundry detergent it's something for you know that stuff costs money and it adds up and, and if it's not for just for yourself if you're doing it for a whole family it's even like whoa, forget about it, and groceries, my gosh, you know, kids can eat you out of some food. Tim can eat you out of some food, too. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, gas for your car, and just everything costs money, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, you don't need money to be happy or to live, but no, you need it, like, to survive for your general bills. You need it to provide a home, unless you know somebody that's going to give you a home that you need for free. I don't know anybody like that, you know? <laughs> it does probably take a little bit of money not to buy happiness but to at least buy some security in life to where you ha have the things you need but yeah it's getting outrageous the price of things nowadays yeah exactly no houses are free even <laughs> yeah and even if you get one you're gonna have the property taxes and the taxes on the house and 
they've got us any any way we turn around they've got us don't they you at least we get a better maybe deal from your grandmother <laughs> she made you mine for appreciate the value of money. Yeah. Because I'd say you don't if everything's just handed to you, you know. You can tell. You're right. Nothing is free. Everything comes with some sort of price. Crane, thank you so much for contributing to the live goal. Yeah, no, they don't. They've things have just gotten to where they're way too expensive. Cars, houses, everything is just marked up so much. just wonder on like places that have like free health care or like a united health care plan you know like um if that's any good you know where they take care of all their people's you know medical and dental needs like in england and where else did they do that oh canada like they get everything they need taken care of. I think that'd be kind of cool.
I know. You're right about that, Lindsay. When it comes to medical care, I just don't think that's that's fair. Like people can't get their basic things they need they don't have health insurance or it's not covered by your health insurance just you know what I mean oh yeah the interest rates are insane see things like that that people need should be covered there's so many things like just my dad needs even now being where he's at and the insurance just don't cover it and when you know yeah it's not fair especially when you've had a stroke and you can't walk you're paralyzed half your body is paralyzed I mean come on Give the people the wheelchairs that they need and, you know, the machines they need to live a normal life so they can or have a better quality, you know? It's like they're just trying to make everything harder. Hi, shopping kittens. Exactly. That's what we're going through with my dad. They don't want to give him the wheelchair that he needs. Because it's really expensive and... Uh, I don't know, it's just so annoying. We're having so many problems with... All kinds of different things that he needs. They just really don't care. They just will leave these people without the things that they need and they expect you to just either pay for it out of pocket or wait around years until they figure it out, you know? Which is why I'm doing a video about um, Darlene's son, Kenny, and his condition. Because they need a transport van for him. deductible and stuff, but I'm going to have that video up soon. But they can't even get a, a van to transport him, you know, and he's in a wheelchair. I can't remember the exact, um, his diagnosis because he had several things, but, um, She sent me some pictures and things as well, but I just think it's so sad you gotta resort to trying to raise the money yourself instead of the insurance companies taking care of it or us having a health national healthcare system that takes care of things like that, you know? seconds, 26, 25. Oh, there you are. Okay, that's what he has. Can we pin that? I don't know how to pronounce that. Cerebral palsy, I know, and then the spastic quadriplegic, but the semi-lobar holopros... I can't... S Sencephaly... I'll try my best on that one, but, um... I'm going to put that up, and I'm going to have the link in my bio if anyone wants to donate and help out 
to help them get the transport van that her son, he's 14, and a quadriplegic, and they can't transport him to his doctor's appointments and things, that just getting him to normal places, you know, is a major ordeal for them. So, um, we'd appreciate any help and support, and I'm going to have it posted on all my socials. Um, I'm going to have it done tomorrow, so it'll be on TikTok and everywhere else, and up in my link tree, in my bio, if anyone wants to donate or help out. Miss Darlene, and I know her name is Darlena, but she goes by Darlene, or it's Darlene on here, you know? problem. I'm just sorry. I haven't got the video up yet. I swear, I think he dropped that one on the floor. S Class Styles, thank you so much for the paper crane. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you for contributing to my live goal. works better than my own do. But I hope when they test yours they can figure out what's going on with that causing it. I hate having to sit through those. That's the worst part of that is I mean and it's not even a big deal, the heart scans, but it's just uncomfortable and you know it's in an awkward area and I'm constantly having to get them done, you know, so often it's just like, ugh, I hate, here it comes again. Yeah, car, everyone has different ones, some like the finger pops without the needle and then some like the needle, so I usually try to go like back and forth. bears for our needle pops and the blobs but honestly sometimes they're just too big and I don't want to get hit by the pimple pops so I'll use the needle <laughs> hole when you pop it. Oh no, I didn't do the skull yet, no. Not yet. Yeah, nerve-wracking, not knowing what they're gonna say, yeah. I always just go in there assuming the worst, so like, or that like, I have some type of like, decline, because it, I always do, so I already assume that, so I'm not like, 
super shocked, and so far, though, I've been holding steady at, at mine, but that is the worst part, waiting on them to either call you, like, you need to come in, or send you a paperwork, being like, yeah, the last time, they didn't call me at all, I didn't find out, and it took, like, two weeks, and I got a letter in the mail saying it was okay, the ejection fraction was, like, down just a tad bit, but, like, I was like, y'all couldn't have told me that on the phone instead of having me worrying for, like, two weeks. Shopikins, thank you for the marvelous confetti. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. That's also the reason, like, why I can't have another baby, because I almost died having my son. He, it caused me to have this heart condition, and, um, that's why I'm babying this puppy so much, because it's like a a sweet little baby. I wanted one more. And oh my gosh, have you guys seen that little monkey that somebody keeps putting on TikTok in the little um bassinet? He's like got the fuzziest little head and he's so tiny and cute. Every time I see that little monkey, I'm like, you know, that is just so cute. my health the way it is, um, they probably wouldn't let me adopt a baby, um, anyway, so, it would have to be an animal. But I swear those monkeys, they're so, <laughs> the little baby, like, I don't know what kind of one that was, it wasn't one that has, like, the ugly red butt, but it was, like, the really cute kind, you know? fuzzy little head, so cute. You have seven monkeys? Or seven kids? I think you meant kids. to say I was on monkeys I was thinking about that monkey in the bassinet and then I, I was like he probably didn't mean her she probably didn't mean monkeys she meant kids <laughs> yeah same thing monkeys kids they climb all over everything Up. I gotta get it. No, you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he didn't put thousands of pimples on it tonight. Looks kind of bare compared to what she usually looks like. Peekaboo, thank you so much for the paper crane. Thank you, you just got the number two gifter badge. Thank you for contributing to the live goal. puzzle piece across to verify I'm not a computer. I'm not going to do that every live now. He didn't want to have to make another one. <laughs> well, I told him, I said, if you want to keep on remaking these skulls, like, 
like that, then keep putting all the pimples in it. You can remake them, I'm not gonna. You do have to remake them a lot more when he puts that many pimples on them. So let's say you don't wanna have to keep making them. Thank you. Tiny. with you. <coughs> oh, sorry, that dog is chewing up everything and there was like nothing I could do. I had to put it out. to chew on but then she'll quit and she'll go over and grab something like that you don't want her to chew on thank you for the lightning and the rose and the heart puffs thank you tiny you're gonna have to wait out there till I'm done you're being a bad girl she done ripped chewed one of my sweaters up already Oh my gosh, she's definitely going after all of my shoes, which we know all dogs do that, but look, she come through there with my, you know, Ugg slipper in her mouth, and I was like, uh-uh. Oh gosh, right in the middle of your mattress. I've had them chew through a wall one time. That was insane. They can get destructive like when they want out of a room. Or if you're not home and they get into something, start chewing on something. I always would take my dog with me, so I felt protected like in the car and out and about. They weren't really left like at home too much by themselves. Chain link fence, gosh. Was it that chewed through a chain link fence? A whole big box of frozen corn dogs. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I took mine to the store one time and I had a big box of the same thing and I had that box for dog. And when we got home, I could not find those anywhere. And I went back to the car and the open box was in there with all the sticks and everything. They must really like corn dogs. Thank you, Go Lady Go, for the paper crane. Thank you. I forgot about that. That's so funny. I was so mad that day, though, because, uh, like, Tim's son had a friend over for dinner and everything. We were, like, getting ready to eat, and then the whole big box of corn dogs was just gone. It's nothing but sticks with a little bit of, like, crunchy bit on the end. Thank you, Furball, for the paper crane. Thank you. Contributing to the light goal. They do stuff, you know. 
But you gotta have patience with dogs, because some people will, when dogs do things like that, because you know all dogs do, puppies do stuff like that, and some people just can't take it and they're mean to them, and you have to have the patience to train a dog, so don't get one if you don't have the patience. Thank you, Tiny, for the roses. Because nothing peeves me off more than, like, animal cruelty. I do not like that. You know, I tell you what, darling, I did not know how much I think I needed this dog <laughs> until we got her. But, like, I, I've went with... I got so close to one of my dogs, and when she passed away, I just didn't get close to any of the other ones. But I think I really needed a dog, and it was time. She's just really uplifted my mood. If you're an animal part lover, and you know, you really love animals, like I'm with you all the time, I think they're great for emotional support. Yeah, I mean, kennel training is fun. I don't think there's nothing wrong with training them in a kennel at night and stuff. Or if they're naughty, uh, keep them from chewing stuff up and going to the potty all over your house. But also that kennel training is extremely noisy. So you gotta be able to bear through that barking part of it too. And the whining part where they want out, you know. But once it's, once it's done, once the kennel training is done, they naturally either want to go in the kennel or they never will go to the bathroom in the house again. So, I mean, it does work either way if you just train them not to go. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to close the door anymore. They, they naturally just want to go in there. It's like, that's where I sleep. I know where my bed is and... Going to bed. Our bigger dogs truly slept better in the kennel because they weren't bothered all night by people, you know, walking around the house and stuff. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I see, I would love to be able to work at a shelter, but if, when I see the shapes on YouTube that some of these little animals get in when they're brought in it kills me oh my gosh I cry every time I see one I'm not done really I'm not done it's so sad to see what people I seen this one that, where someone had just put a zip tie around a dog's mouth for no reason, just to be mean, other than to keep it from eating and drinking, and thank God a good Samaritan, you know, officer stopped and cut it off of its mouth, but, I mean, just the mean crap like that that people do, and it's like, oh, I think people that do that stuff need to be arrested, they, they need to go to prison for doing that. If you're caught hurting an animal and then you need to go on some type of list to where you can never own another animal and if you get caught with one you get in trouble again because they're so forgiving and loving and just to hurt one you know just breaks my heart it is a federal crime now thankfully good I just think they need to do a little bit more enforcing because they will give a pet to about anybody. And the exotic pet business has kind of gotten out of control. You even see it a lot on TikTok with the monkeys and things like that. Honey bears. The pup was dumped. <laughs> She's waiting right outside the door on me. Yeah, those timid ones that you can tell have really had a hard life and they have the 
sad eyes. It just breaks your heart. You want to you wanna bring them home and make them feel safe. Sorry, I see what you're saying now. Had to piece it together. Thank you guys so much for tapping and sharing the live tonight, guys, and just hanging out. Appreciate you guys. And thank you to the mods and the silent mods, and I will see you guys tomorrow night. running into that lynx outside so I can take the dog out. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run into it. That's another reason why I went so long without getting a dog is because they do become like, you know, just such an intricate part of your life and you get so attached to them. I was like, I'm not doing it again. I am not getting another one. Nope. Get it, but as soon as I seen her face, not that I have much choice. I mean, I could have taken her back to to the person, but once I seen her little face, it was just over with. It pro. I would like to say that, but I swear he's been carrying on about this seeing the links like twice now. I don't know if it's a link or links or a really big cat. He said it had the long hair sticking up off the tips of its ears. So, I don't know. And then he'll be like, didn't it, Jackson? And Jackson will be like, yes, Mom, it did. And, like, he's using a, you know, a five-year-old to corroborate his story. So, <laughs> I'm kind of like, okay, buddy. The kids will agree with him no matter what he says. He could say... <clears throat> There was Bigfoot out there, wasn't it, kids? And they'll be like, yeah, Dad, it was. Tell Mom what Bigfoot looked like. They'll make something up for him, I'm sure. <laughs> I've had to get on him about that lately. I'm like, you gotta stop that, because they're agreeing with, like, everything you say. I believe that. I've heard some like weird panther sounds around here. Um, it was weird. It was last summer, but it's kind of scary. All right, guys, I am done for the night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Black Panther. And they make that that loud noise, you know. It sounds like a scream. Scary. I think I've seen something about a tiger being loose. So, oh, you're welcome. Good night. Good night, Lobot. Good night, Felix. Good night, Tony. You guys have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.